Okay, today we're doing a cool and flush on this 2004 Saturn Ion. And a couple of things you need to know. First, this is the uh, coolant reservoir. And there is a drain plug right below there, which we'll have to get to by removing this part of the air filter housing and then there's a plug in the back of the engine which uh, will also drain the rest of the fluid out so we'll do a complete coolant flush today and the tools you will need are a 13 millimeter a socket a quarter inch a 3 8 ratchet and a quarter inch ratchet and then you'll need this special tool main, made only for the Saturn ion um, it goes over the uh, drain drain plug and you have to sort of point it's got these handy arrows uh, on it that will help you guide it correctly onto the plug and it um, it goes on to a 3 8 and uh, yeah without this tool um, without the socket here I don't know that I would be able to do it as quickly as I will today so this is an absolute essential I will post a link in the description where you can get yours uh, I got mine for I think eight dollars um, but yeah this is absolutely a must um, and then we have the uh, orange antifreeze to dex cool to refill everything so let's get started I want to start with removing the air filter housing here loosening those clips and then next I'm going to loosen this tube here by unscrewing the quarter inch bracket behind it so I have to put the tool through this come from below and I have to dock it here with the fastener there we go and now should just pop off there we go. If your engine is not hot, you can put it right on top. If it is hot, then you may want to find a different place. And what we're looking for is that plug right there. It's in the center of the screen. That's the one we need to um, drain, open and drain and um, go from there so let's get our special tool on and open that one up. Now if you don't have the special socket you could try with a pair of pliers to get in there and open it but I've just never had much luck with them because they're, this shroud is in the way and it's so recessed behind there that I've never been able to and every time I've tried I've actually destroyed over like three of those plugs so I'm gonna have to use this special sock in here to open it and we have to align the arrows with the um, the 
plug so it fits just right. There we go. Alright. Now before I open it up all the way, it's already pretty loose. I'm going to place a pan right underneath it and let it drain. Alright, with the pan placed under to catch the fluid, let's loosen it up all the way. You can already see it coming out a little bit. And what I like to do is I like to first open this plug and then quickly run to the reservoir and we'll let that really gush out. See now it's really kicking. I just have water in here now because I've already done this with the Dex fluid earlier, but this is my third flush. So, I just didn't want Dex fluid all over my garage. Alright, we'll let that just kind of drain completely and in the meanwhile, I'm going to drain the uh, engine block. So while we're waiting for the radiator to empty, um, let me show you the uh, engine block plug. And it's located right here behind the engine. And you have to loosen this bolt right here. This one. So, as soon as we loosen that one up, uh, the, extra the extra coolant will flush out and then we'll have, then we'll have completed and done a complete flush. Alright, I've loosened it up and now, let's see if we can get some fluid to come out of here. Wait, I think I was turning it the other way. Alright. Here it comes. Now like I said, this is just water because this is my third flush, but you would do the same here with the uh, actual coolant. And Repeat as many times as you want. And then here's the plug, it's a 13 millimeter. There's usually a rubber hose, rubber hose around here, a rubber gasket, but I don't know where it went. And it works just fine without it. Now, before I put the engine block, um, plug back in I, I think I'm gonna put some anti-seize because last time I hope try to get it loose um, it gave me some trouble so this time I'm putting a little bit of anti-seize okay on it. I've just finished putting up putting on the anti-seize so it's time to put it back now let's It's nice and tight in there now. So let's put the uh, one on the front back on. 
Alright, time to put the radiator plug back. Alright, perfect. So as I was doing this I noticed that I have some nasty gunk in here so I'm gonna quickly vacuum it, put back the air filter and the uh, air filter cover. This is how you get your Saturn to last forever. This car is over 250,000 miles on it and this is like the best investment I made buying this k filter. I never, had, I never had to buy an air filter ever since I've owned the car. So let's put everything back and fill it up. Of course we have to be careful. They don't make these cars anymore. So. Very gentle, put it back. Make sure it's all aligned. Perfect. And then I'm going to tighten this back up. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put 50% of the coolant and 50% of water and then fill up the car. Okay, that's right on the mark. Okay, so just filled the other half with some filtered water. I don't like to use tap water. It, it has a lot of uh, minerals in it and stuff, so if you can get filtered water, it'll last longer and it'll be a lot better. So, all right, let's pour this in now. Very carefully. Alright, let's mix some more. Okay, so I've just checked to make sure there isn't any leaks. Just sort of a pre-check. And then I'm ready for round two. Okay, I'm going to stop right here because I'm already at the line. So that was two of these. I'll just finish it. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the car and basically just check if you need to add a little bit more. If you go too much, use a turkey baster and suck it out. Round three. Everything from the reservoir has disappeared, so I had to make a third one. I think this should do it. Hold on. That's perfect, but we'll have to wait till it settles. So I just came back from a test drive, heated the engine up to normal operating temperature and level is pretty good. There are no leaks, so check for those as well. Uh, make sure to turn on your heater, like your heat all the way to high, just to get the fluid through the uh, heater core. But um, I'm actually going to go and do an extra step here. As you can see, I've removed the front piece here. And I'm going to go to a local self-car wash. And I'm going to get all that dirt out and just wash the radiator as much as I can. Because I want this to be perfect. I just came back, everything's washed, fluid is good. Um, just one thing about if you're gonna wash uh, the radiator, don't go too close with the jet, keep a distance, otherwise, you might bend the fins in there. So, keep a good distance. And if you've got a protein based degreaser, something that'll break down protein because you want to get rid of those bugs. Use that. I didn't have anything like that laying around, so I just used the general degreaser. And now I'm gonna put this back and bolt these four bolts down. And that will be it. Just uh, if you're gonna do this yourself, make sure to have this handy tool on you, otherwise, it will not be that easy. Um, you need this thing to open it because it's such a such a strange place where they put it in. So you definitely need the socket. I'll post it. I'll post it in the link where you can get it. Um, so yeah, and that is how you change your coolant on a 2004 Saturn Ion. Thank you.